What's going on guys, it's your boy Jack, aka The Balding Refire, coming at you today's video, which is episode two of how to build a cover farm in the UK. Let's go. Okay, so for those of you that are new to the channel, hello, my name is Jack, I am indeed The Balding Refire, or should I say bald now. I specialise in tropical cold water pond and marine fish. This video though is episode two of how to build a koi farm in the UK. If you are new, please massively help me out as those before you have done. All you've got to do is swipe up and around here there'll be uh, a logo with my beautiful face on it. Hit that so you subscribe and if you're feeling extra generous, hit the all notifications bell. That way you get to see every single piece of weird and wonderful stuff that we do right here to fish. In the meantime though, for those of you that are returning, welcome back. You know what day it is, it's Friday, Saturday, Sunday. See the big digger? Right up way over there. Today's the day we actually get digging, peeps. We got my main man, Sam, all the way down from the Oliver Run. What do you think, mate? I can't believe it. Yeah? It's amazing, honestly amazing. Some serious work we've done, aren't there? Yeah. Some yeah. serious work. There are a couple of subscribers heading over, so today, Obviously, Sam's uh, here. Mad Dog's been over. Mad Dog's back tomorrow. Uh, we're doing a full barbecue as well. Got to feed the troops. You know how it is. Sunday, we've got Lampy Mallard and Bambi and Dazza heading over as well. We've got the whole tribe here. Barbecues both days. Absolutely glorious. Currently rocking at 27 and a half degrees. For those of you that are abroad, I know it feels like feels like Spain at the minute, let me tell you. Let me give you a quick little recap though. We are going to get some awesome drone footage courtesy of Sam today as well. So there's, uh, the editing's got to be going up a level in this video, so stick around to the end because it's going to be fantastic. Let me give you a quick little spin round though now. Um, quickly recap what we're going to be doing, then we'll get to digging. Okay, don't forget people, it's in a wide angle lens. We've got the reefer canal going in here. We've got poly one, poly two, and poly three going in as well. We may also be adding in an extra uh, little bit of lake there. And then the other hard sanding poly is gonna be over the back in the corner. The big digger is basically gonna be bucketing out eight foot into the water, dragging it back, squaring absolutely everything off. But like I say, we're going to be getting full video footage of all this being done today. Uh, it's going to be drained. We're going to be getting some of the fish out. It's going to be absolutely epic and I, for one, cannot wait to get started. But look at the size of the thing. I'll tell you what, let's send the drone over to have a look. So we've got the digger going. It's coming to reality, people. We've got that chamfered edge up the side there now. Big 32 ton excavator. Absolute beast of a machine it is. Like I say, I'll keep doing random snapbacks as we go. Gets in, rips it up. He's just piling it on the back. As one of the subscribers said, from little acorns, mighty oak shall grow. Real, real skilled digger driver though. Taking that side now, making sure it's nice and flat. Let me snap back to you in a second and we rattle through a bit more. Could have gone anywhere, 
been anyone You stole my heart like a thief on the run You're not much for taking chances But you're taking a chance on me Okay, so the digger drivers uh, gone on strike. The twins in Brooklyn are going to be driving it from now on. Sounds about mate. The twins in Brooklyn are going to be uh, digging it out now. As you can see, all this edge here has now been chamfered up. You can now see where the uh, <coughs> the waste overflow is, which is just here. But. He's got to get another digger now just to go all the way down there on the back and then all the way down here on the uh, on the back side. But yeah, not seen any fish come out just yet, but there might be some little tiddlers within the reeds somewhere, but hopefully he scared them all off before he actually started scooping them out. But what a machine. What do you think? Good! For sure! What do you think? For sure, apparently. What do you think? For real. It's just getting better. Right? Yeah. Well, yeah, the boys are happy. I'll drag them out the digger now before they dirty up anymore. Okay, so we've got to get the smaller digger in to get down the back because there's no way that one is going to fit down the back of there. So the digger driver's currently now just taking pieces from here, going all the way down, and then he's going to get the bigger digger in down the side, square off this corner here, and then take it all the way down the back. But so far, I mean, it's added an awful, awful lot more space to the lake, which is good. Fish are already starting to come up, which is great. Yeah, can't wait to see it done now. Okay, so all the sides now been done, rounded off on the corners, rounded off on that corner. Digger driver now is just in the process of grading back for where the uh, roof of the canal is going to go, pulling all the stuff up on the sides. He's got to square this bit off up here in the corner as well. <laughs> Obviously, you guys have seen some fantastic drone footage by my main man Sam coming down the bank here now. Let me snap back to you in a second though, once we've started digging out the reefer canal.
Okay, the reefer canal, ladies and gentlemen, has begun. He's got to square off the sides now as he's doing, dragging the uh, the bucket up and down. It's already starting to self-fill because there is a natural spring that runs underneath here. We're going to add a load more tunnels down there. It's coming thick and fast, people. What do you think, big dog? Huh? Yeah, good. Jobs are good and deepest part. Full on reefer canal, self filling as well. We've got the latest technology. We have an underwater spring. Leonard's on the digger now, laying that out. Ninja Warrior Assault Course, Wall of Death. <laughs> He's done it as well, ladies and gentlemen. So, we're about to break virgin ground. Want to explain what we're doing? Yeah, I'm using a generator and a sump pump to bring water from this lake into the reef canal. Might take about a week, but we'll see. We've got a week to kill. So he's got a piece of rope on the end so we can always uh, drag it back. Yep, Thanks. yep, cheers for that. <laughs> oh, stand back. Thank God, I would have all be five of those. I wouldn't. Why? He's definitely not got the arms for this, people. Oh God, here he comes! Ready? There she blows, people! The reefer canal has begun! <laughs> he's now checking if he's got diesel in it. Petrol. 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 A can in the car. So yeah, the, uh, the reefer canal begins, people. I'll snap back to you in a second before we leave tonight, let you know how full it is, and we'll see if it's still holding water by tomorrow. That's the plan. That's the what do you think, Sam? Living the dream. Okay, so the reefer canal's been dug. Poly number one's been dug. Driver's just in the process of finishing off uh, poly number two. So we'll be, th we'll be 2.6 metres across, 5.5 metres in length, three foot metres deep. Let's get on it. Breaking out the big guns today, people. Serious pieces of bog would have come out of here today. Look at that root on there. Okay, so we'll show you the view from up above. That's day one done. for canal as you can see starting to get full we're going to continue filling that tomorrow obviously you've seen some awesome awesome footage today of this being dug the two um, poly tunnels have been dug we'll be coming back up with the digger in a couple of weeks to dig the other two but there's still plenty plenty more episode two we're going to be filling these up filling that up getting all the weed out starting to build the uh, the jetty out into the middle so make sure you are subscribed along it's been absolutely epic we've loved every single minute of it we're absolutely knackered ready to finish off now for the Friday Night Live and you guys will be seeing Sam on that as well which is going to be awesome uh, follow me on social media for more behind the scenes sneak peeks Facebook and Twitter is at the Balding Reefer Instagram is slightly different that's at the dot balding dot reefer but as ever stay safe stay sane but most importantly people stay happy Balding Reefer out there you go Okay, so you, you guys asked for it, the hour long special. This is actually day two now. We've got the Jenny on over there. Let me spin you around. 
We're about to set up one hard standing polytunnel here, which Lampy Mallard is going to use for his bonsai propagation. We've got the other two polytunnels over there. The lake we're going to be draining down today. I know my main man Daza, word on the street is he's only going to build the building reef for his very own scene net. So that's going to be super, super interesting to see tomorrow. So yeah, like I say, make sure you stick around on this because you guys asked for the hour-long special. And you know your main man, Big Rick's only going to go ahead and deliver people. It's filling. We've had a little bit of a bank break away here. Not particularly worried about that because we're going to level this all out. We're going to shave off this bit here. I'm going to shave off a little bit there as well and maybe a little bit down there. We're starting to fill, which is good. Bench generator's doing its thing all this today, folks. It's going to be empty. We've got my main man, Sam. Went out for a nice little uh, Ruby Murray curry last night. It was lovely. He had himself a nice chicken korma. I had a lambuna, you know. Honing my inner smithy. For those of you that don't watch Gavin and Stacey, you need to start. Here he is. Big doggy dog. You good? What do you think about the Empire? Let's have an interview with you. What do you think about the Empire? Good. Whose Empire is it? The Empire Yeah, but what am I doing it for? Me to swim in it, and you're going to see it on this vlog, guys. How many likes for Daddy to get in the lake? One. One like. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Do it, guys, or else I'm going to push Daddy in, and that's going to take two likes. That's it for me to do. No, I'll my just... dog. My dog is not dead. <laughs> We've got Big Sam, half a Scott, don't hold it against him, no. but he's wearing the red rose, so we yeah. can forgive him today. Hello, mate. Mad dog's come uh, tooled up to the hills. We are, are you good, my friend? Man, sweet as a nut. Yourself? Oh, yeah, wicked, mate, wicked. Right, plan of action today, mate. You want to guard him through? Right, so, plan of action is we're going to create a jetty. Yeah. We're going to get most of this duckweed out. Canadian weed, whatever you call it. They're also, somebody's gonna have to get in and get wet. Hopefully we'll get enough timber. We're gonna do, hopefully, an eight metre jetter. It's gonna come straight out. When everything's in place then, you'll be able to sit out there and enjoy it, enjoy the lot. Hopefully, if we can get it done today, but this heat. the mini ones at the back. Gonna I'm gonna jump in those ones. And you're gonna, gonna, gonna see it. Yeah, that's so, it. That's what it's all about. It is, barbecue's gonna be on later on. We've got the fishing bivvy. Uh, for the UV protection for the kiddiewinks. Uh, we've got the polytunnels over here. Uh, majority of it is, it is just push in, and then we've got an awful, awful lot of bolts to put in as well. This is gonna be fun. Let us get the base in though, and I'll snap back to you in a second. Here they are, my little doggy dog. Jacko, Kota. <laughs> just threw me cheeky wink. It's a mad dog. Doubled it, because I bought some as well, just to make sure we're covered. And whatever happens, we lather up. And we have not got a chance of running out of it. Yeah. Mad Dog's bought a load as well. Oh, he's packed that as well, though. Daddy, when are we swimming Somebody. in the pool? Ten packs of 40 cans. Yes. Nice. Three packs of 12 waters, and then a big water as well. Is that green? Come on. So, uh, Mad Dog's took project lead. Mad Dog is renowned for his problem solving skills. So, like I say, we are going to get in his pond on video as well in the next couple of weeks to be able to see truly the level of this guy's uh, problem solving skills. The instructions typically are not. Two seconds, please. The, uh, the instructions typically aren't the best. So, uh, Mad Dog's out there doing his thing. Here's some of the quad bikers when they uh, do the quad bike trekking. We are on about doing a balding reef a day on the quad bikes. Daddy! Obviously, we're not going to be able to leave the country this year, so I thought about putting this on for anybody that wants to uh, come down and give us a give us a hand. Here they all are, yomping on through. So yeah, it's all going on on the farm today. It's all going on. Let me snap back to you in a second though, once we've got a bit more. Okay, so the polytunnel is up. What we've done is, because obviously the ground slopes off here down the side, we've kept it here. We're actually going to build another deck on here in the corner anyway. Um, 
but we can still get round the back of the uh, the lake by coming down here, down by the reefer canal, uh, and coming onto the soils. And like I say, as long as you're sensible, you can still get round. Uh, it's just you won't be able to bring anything massively, massively heavy out. While the guys are just grabbing the uh, the polytunnel top, I'll show you the reefer canal because it's pretty much bang on full, people. Pretty much bang on full. So here she is. Oh, nearly fell. So there's the reefer canal in all of her glory. So we will be going for a bit of a swim in that later on. We'll make sure we get that on the drone footage. But yeah, there's a whole lot of sexy here today, people. There's a lot of gentlemen with no tops on. Reefer included. So yeah, let me uh, snap back to you in a second when we've actually got the poly roof on. We'll show you how that bit looks. So the kids are just testing out the first mud pond. Go on then. I'm watching ya. Yeah. It's a loving life. Pond still being drained. Reefer canal's done. We're just going to get in there and start dragging out some weeds. So yeah, let me snap back to you in a second when we're all in. Okay. Ben's got his Where's Wally shorts on. So I'm going to be due to be getting in in a second as well. But obviously I just want to get some footage showcasing what we're doing. We've got big Dazza getting in. We've got big. We're about to regret doing this. You gonna? <laughs> Dragon, dragonfly That's a dragonfly larva. Tell that him is. I'm a sad you like. <laughs> so Ben's going to get in. Well, to be fair, we're all going to get in. What we're going to do, we're going to get the rakes. Do you want to just show them how we're going to do it, Ben? Just dragging it back and that. So there is some silt on the bottom. So obviously, when we take this all out and drain it off, obviously, we'll get the remaining bits out there. And we've already started to drag a little bit up here like that now. But in essence, we're just going to start. It is, man. It's not that this time. It's crazy. And just literally start dragging it back putting it into clumps on the bank here. Work to halfway, because half of it's going to be binned. Then the other half, we're going to be, we're going to be putting into uh, the reefer canal and into the uh, two other bits where the uh, kids, Laura and April are playing at the minute. So uh, let me pass Daz his weapon of choice. I mean, and would you look at that? There's only three rakes, boys. Oh! Lads, I'm gutted. I'd love to be in there helping, you know I would. I you would. Hey? I'll tell you what, you know, you said it was warm. It is, man. You've got to get below 50% of your body. That's about as family friendly as I can make it. Once the lower 50% in, you yeah, get used you know to it pretty fast. So this is it, we're going to get grafting now, we're going to get in. The barbecue's going to be going on in a second. We're going to be getting on there in a second, but yeah, let me jump in and help the troops out. Just all we're trying to do is because we want to, we're going to break in a second for some barbecue food. And then when we get back in, we're actually going to try and harvest some of the fish that's in the lake. So what we're trying to do is pull as much as this up off the bottom as we possibly can. All it is is ella densa. So it just grows like an absolute weed. It's a fantastic oxygenating plant. Gives the fish, gives the fish a fantastic amount of. Um, cover spawning material and things like that so but when you come when it comes time to netting them out it's just a pain like that because it all deads up on the bottom and obviously all the smaller fish will do that's in here just go straight down to the bottom so get cracking with this and then like i say just try to clear as much of it as we can and then just keep draining it and draining it and draining it over the next sort of three to four days let it bake out in the sun for a couple of days then go in and get the remaining few bits out obviously what we don't want to do is drain it and drain it and let it bake with the fish in there because obviously the 
ammonium nitrate to nitrate levels just going to go up through the roof so fingers crossed what we do is the right thing which I think it is I think if we can drain as much as we can net it all and then like I say it's just a matter of spending over three four days down here whilst we're actually draining it all off just to make sure we can get all the other fish out we've got the reefer canal over the back we've got the other two drug poly tunnels which in turn will be able to take some of the fish out of here and pop into there so that is the plan but well, I better get cracking well this area is pretty much clear off the dirt on there the fence has been raking it back there's just the odd few little pieces which you're never going to get it perfect but all we can do is try it dragging the weed up and off the bank but well, if we want to eat for about three o'clock I better go like the barbecue okay barbecue smoke was going full steam we're at 125 degrees got some burgers going we snap back to you in a second we've got a right spread going this is only half we've got a load of sausages inside of here we've got steaks we've got chicken we've got pork chop We've got more chicken, do not fear. She's only just come out of the uh, the big cool bag, freezing cold. Like I say, just waiting to uh, get some more on in a second. You ready for some burgers, mate? Yeah, is this on your video? Right? Yeah, man. I'm here, guys, and I'm not in those things again. Yeah. I'm not going in yet, but when we've ate some food on the barbecue, we are going back in there, but I have to get undressed and get dressed. You do indeed, let's go. Excuse me for being out of breath. Hello. Just showed you the barbecue, we've all had some food. Me and Ben have never thought it'd be a brilliant idea. He's gonna go racing on one of the kids, little red ones. I'm gonna go racing on one of the kids' little white ones. Sam's at the bottom of the hill vlogging. So hopefully between us we'll get some stupid footage. Stupid Are we both sober, Broken my ass? Both sober. A little bit sunstroke, but sober. Racers, start your engines. gentlemen, the Balding Reefer wins at life again. And now, however, I need to go find my phone. Okay, so another quick update. Loads of the weed coming out now. The boys are even in the pond. Sam's still in, still trooping, still going. He knows it. Benny boy looking all sexy as hell down there in the corner. Say 90% of it's cleared now. It's got a couple more patches over here to do and over the back. And then what we're going to do, we're going to get the rakes in and four man line down the bank and just literally rake it all the way down um, but yeah it's getting there like I say with this being a clay pond it will actually settle down the coloration very very quickly which is great but the, the difficult task is obviously going to be getting the rakes getting all this out making sure there's uh, no actual fish in there or anything like that we have seen some fish in here some roach in here as well some little carp as well which is great so yeah it's all coming yeah. Iana well right. stopped all day. Iana stopped all day. Oh, Sam, to be fair, still going strong. But yeah, let me snap back to you in a second. <laughs> so here they are. The troops are hard at work. Yeah, guys, 
This isn't technically your debut, but it's your debut when your face is on camera. <laughs> See, it's easy to ask for uh, forgiveness that it is permission. Are we getting on? I mean, I'd be in there with you, but I've got, I've got to do, someone's got to do the food, haven't they? Yeah. Do, do you know what I mean? Oh, yeah. I mean, even April's doing work. I mean, I'm glad I've got this on video. The girl does nothing. The girl does nothing. <laughs> Mad dog's off. How are you finding it, Lank? Oh, cheers for that, Benny boy. Cheers for that. Ben's got the right action going there. Scoop and flick. Scoop and flick. Oh, fish! Fish! Show us! What is it? Come on, fish knowledge. I think it's a rod. A rod? Something. Put it back in the water, let him do his thing. Excited to see what comes out of it now. Have some food and then. Have some food and then we'll uh, net it. So we've got all this timber, we've got this, and we've got all this. So between Daz and Mad Dog, we're going to build a run out, a metre wide, all the way out, and then Daz is going to put a square platform on there. So we actually have a little area where we can sit out and chill. But the plan is to get the back of this broke today, get all the support structure in place, keep draining. Use Dazzy C net, Lampy Mallard is on the way up. April and the kids, Ben and Laura on the way up. So yeah, let me snap back to you in a second when the uh, chaps are gonna be staking in the first piece into the ground. Let's go. Right Dazza, what are we doing? Yeah. That is the centre of the reef of promenade. The reef of promenade. Jobs are good. Jobs are good. Jobs are good. Yeah. Then we're going to pile some of these uh, shorter stakes in the ground and we're going to use them as a runoff to be able to uh, get, in, get out into the lake. Yeah, so uh, yeah. Daz has got the sledgy. So we're about to swap and then I'll pile drive these in. So I can't let them do all the work, can I? Do you know what I mean? I do need to get involved at some point, don't I? So you're going to, you're going to use the saw. Daz, you've got a chainsaw. So what we're doing... We're putting a spike on here, so we can actually pile drive it in with a sledgehammer. I'll tell you what, mate, how skilled you are with that. I'm going to get a log from up there. I want you to carve me a koi in it swimming through the water. I want two dragonflies above the top of it, but then I want some really small midge larvae just underneath the koi as if they're going over to eat them. Yeah, you go if you can, yeah. Perfect round circles, yeah. Should we do another one at the same time? Yeah, mate. Get that one done. Right, twins. Uh, Bo Brooklyn, I'm going to need you to step back a little bit, please, now, mate. The power tools are out. Yeah, easy win, yeah. What's the plan, then? We're gonna, what we're going to do, save a lot of time. I'm a toy dip, as you know, so instead of doing two and sticking them out, let's get four done, get them straight out, get them all level. You basically just want to piece me in the water, don't you, is what you're telling yeah. me? Yeah. <laughs> Cheers, chaps. That's what you Thanks very much. I'm going to have to throw a peace sign at you because this is a family friendly show, so I can't throw you any more than that. <laughs> let's get it done. Yeah, let's get it done. I'm only jesting. I'm only jesting. You know me, I like to try and get stuff done. So, come on, party on down. <laughs> Ok, 
Okay, so as Daz has actually named it, the Reefer Jetty. Yeah. We've got the uh, we've got the first uh, two posts in here, and we've got this bottom piece here with uh, two coach bolts in either side. What they're doing now is finding the right length of timber to go off here, so we can find where our next piece uh, of wood has got to go. But in essence, that there is going to be a walkway out into the middle. So. Once you've got the right length that we need, two seconds, mate. Once you've got the right length that we need, we'll then be able to get in and pile in the rest. What did you say, big dog? Um, some of us are going to jump off it like me and Ruben, maybe Ben, maybe Daddy. Yeah, that's it. That's it. Right, I better help Dad get this timber off his roof. Swim, <laughs> my friend. Become one like a dolphin, silly salmon. comes into play. What we're doing on here at the minute is we're driving these stakes a good four foot into the ground. The reason why we want it to be four foot is so it doesn't actually move because if you look at the bottom, it's clay. So the black clay is basically where this weed membrane has all started to break down. Out into the middle, which I'll get you some footage of that in a second. It's really, really like, um, like a yellowy orange kind of clay, which is basically fresh. Perfect nutrients for all the koi to be able to eat on and stuff like that. Great for growing Daphne and things. So what we're doing is we're piling this four foot below that black clay level. Putting this on basically is the gangplank, like the, uh, the sides. It'll roughly be 900 mil to a metre on the inside edging. And then what we're going to do is we're going to deck it all. Then Dad's being the genius of the years, he's going to put a big square pontoon out on the end for us. So we'll have somewhere to kick back and chill. So Dad is about to uh, Paul drive some screws into here without getting his drill wet. <laughs> Got to have somewhere to put the deck chair, he says. Yeah. Hang on, hang on, hang on, any minute. Whoa! Two more! <laughs> Stuck in the mud! <laughs> Whack away, my friend. I like it when the north wall gets you. Yeah, oh, it's horrible. <laughs> Don't check plum on there.
So, what, so what's the plan with this now, my dog? OK, so basically what we started to do, we started doing the jetty yesterday. We had a few issues with screws and stuff. So my man Daz has come down to help us out today with the wood. Um, and we've got all the screws now. So the priority now is to get all the framing in to Dad. Yeah. Get as much of the framing in, including the, the, the special bit that's going to be going on that you'll be able to discuss later. And then come back just over a week and get all the rest of the finishing down, get all the flooring down. Hopefully we can have an opening this side when you get your boat. Get outside, get into your boat and top job. So the main one at the moment is to use the 5x5 to get all the struts in, then all the cross members, and then using the 6x1s, put all, put all the framing and all the stud working. And that's the main bit for it, to be fair. That was sounds bad. Hopefully we'll get water. that done today. It definitely mean you're in the water with Daz, aren't we? Yeah, we'll get in the water. Daz and. So uh, Alice the Yo's got us a boat as well, which is epic. If you've got one free off Facebook Marketplace, so we'll have a little bit of a boat that we can uh, sail around on and uh, enjoy the fish with a... Uh, Fizzy pop, yeah. with a fizzy pop. Um, but yeah, we better, we'll leave uh, Mad Dog to chop this down so we don't get in his way, because I value my fingers. And we'll go out Dad's because he's uh, struggling on the corner of that there, I think. Mark your timber on here as well. Your timber on yeah, the no, park no. oh, down. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's that. Yeah. Yeah.
Inside. Uh, no, sorry. What about that? It's... What about that, yeah? Yeah. Put one boom in the middle, just take the bounce out of it. So uh, it's gonna look completely different though when the deck's on it and that. It's gonna look incredible. I mean look at my feet. Look at my feet. Let's see a salmon. What then? Let's see a salmon. <laughs> right, alright, just follow it. We are name the film. Jack! Jack, don't leave me, Jack! Then she dunks him! Could have got two people on that raft. Could have got two people on that raft. I'll never let go, Jack. I'll never let go. Everyone's More towards you? Yeah. Where that screw is? Nowhere. 
Okay, so the jetty starting to take its uh, its plan. Lampy Mallard's got some absolutely epic, epic shots going. So yeah, this is going to be uh, a fun one to edit with the culmination of different shots. But he suggested the hour-long special. You all voted for it, so it's coming. We deliver. It's what we do. Kids are living the best life. Daz is going to get his chainsaw now, rip some of the top end bits off. But it's going to be absolutely epic. Won't we go in? anywhere love it oh there you are I can see your face now what do you think bro impressed the empire has begun my friends the empire has begun we'll have our own little private barbecue mate when no one else is here you can't use that piece of wood no. Lampus Melardus. We're going to be doing some awesome, awesome footage for Lampus Channel today. I know you're interested in a lot of the trees around here, aren't you? Yeah, exactly. We've already found a couple that we're going to be taking out. So, so we'll yeah. walk you over to the poly because Lampy hasn't seen the start of this video yet. No. This is Lampy Mallard's poly tunnel. Hey. This is yours to do what you want with, my friends. Oh, yeah. Nice. Really are. So at the moment it is sweltering, sweltering hot inside of here. Yeah. Um, I know you mentioned your brother's set up an irrigation system before. Yes. So uh, once we've got some power down here, we just fold this out of the way. We will get that going in here. You've got all that to be able to use for whatever you want, my friends. Spot on, that will be. We'll turn that into a perfect little bonsai workspace. Yeah, that's it. Any, any trees you've got your eye on at the moment? I know you mentioned the willow. Yep, um, there's some willow. There's a lot of willows that we're going to work on. There's an acorn just down in here that we're going to, um, an oak that we're just going to pull out. And then that, I think, is some type of Alberta spruce or pine. But that's definitely worth investigating. And it's got a nice lot of seeds on it, nice lot of pine cones. So we'll get a load of seeds off in. And then I think that one over there might be a um, European eucalyptus. European eucalyptus, there you go. Um, so that's worth getting. Don't think I've told you as well. The electric fence? Yes. It's on. Hey, it's so on. Don't go touching it. <laughs> Pretty much. Pretty much. Been blending in in his natural environment. <laughs> Loads of beautiful dragonflies, to be fair. Loads of them. But now I'm going to get in. I'm going to uh, get to some more screwing because Daz has got the corner pieces now that he's just mitering off so we can actually put some uh, support beams into place. So yeah, I don't think it'll be going anywhere though. Let me snap back to you in a second. Okay, so here's both the troops. Bad dog, Daz. I mean, I'll let you do the talking. What do you think? We've been off each other all day. This man is awesome. Absolutely awesome. It's just a shame he's gone to metric. <laughs> if he'd have been old school, we'd have been laughing today. You can't beat him, but I'll tell you what, mate. Credit where credit's due. This bloke was out there. Obviously, as you know, I couldn't get out there because of obviously my foot. I didn't want to take a chance to that. Man, absolutely fantastic, really enjoyed it. And then we're going to do it all again in a couple of weeks, isn't we? Yes. To get it all decked out. <laughs> so, what's, so what's the plan to finish off the rest then? Nice. So, the you're going to be breaking down some decking, aren't you? Yeah. Well, once all the decking's broken down, we're going to get it all to the specific sizes, and then run the slats across so it all comes in. So obviously, because he's breaking it down, no cost. Yeah. So it's got to be a win-win. Yeah. No. It just goes to show how well you've created this channel and now you've created the community, and we'll just get together and come united as well. No, that's it. I appreciate it, like both of you have. Like, obviously, you brought the tools down, you brought wood, you brought wood down yourself. It's all inside, it's also cost nothing. Yeah, but no, honestly, I appreciate it. We wouldn't be able to do it with, with, without the likes of, like you say, yourself, my dog, yourself, Daz. Like, we really, really, and I'm not just saying it for camera, like, we really. Like me and Ben, we, we, we couldn't stand on the cost of this if it was all new timber and stuff like that. I mean, it's even bits like you're bringing the screws down and stuff like that. Do you know what I mean? Like, it genuinely has blown us away. It's going to be the focal point of the lake. Can't wait now to, like I say, net it off, get all, get some of the fish out, then slowly start filling it back up so then this will really sort of take hold. But Mad Dog's got to shoot. I have. I want to spend some time with my missus. I love her too much. 
<laughs> You're going to have to, mate. You're going to have to. Guys, enjoy yeah. yourself, and I'll see you later. All no, right. thank you very much. Okay, so here's the man in question. He convinced us to do a one hour special, which we've been recorded over three days. I've now got to get back and edit this all together uh, in time for a Tuesday night upload. So it's going to be fun, it's going to be interesting, it's going to be epic. I hope you guys like what you've seen so far. If you've got any suggestions or anything like that, obviously hit me up in the comment section down below. Let me know what your thoughts and feelings are. Are you as excited uh, about this as the rest of us are? Obviously, make sure you definitely follow me on social media because there's so many behind the scenes sneak peeks going on there. I hope you liked all the drone footage, all the montages that we put together and stuff like that. Big props to Lampy as well, like I say, for coming down today and filming. And like I said, there's some stuff on his channel as well, so make sure you head over to uh, Lampy Mallard, which is, as it appears, on his chest, ladies and gentlemen. Um, so you'll see some of the stuff that he's got planned with the uh, bonsais and the poly in the, the Lampy Mallard poly tunnel here just behind me. Um, I don't even have a clue what he's, what he's planning on doing in there just yet, so I'll be finding out uh, as well as you guys will. So I'll definitely be watching his upload as well. Uh, social media, Facebook and Twitter is at the Baldwin Reefer. Instagram is slightly different, that's at the dot Baldwin dot Reefer. But as ever, ladies and gentlemen, stay safe, stay sane, but most importantly, people stay happy. Baldwin Oasis, out.